There's no business like show business, like no business I know. Everything about it is appealing. Everything that traffic will allow. Nowhere could you have that happy feeling when you are stealing that extra bar. There's no people like we show people. They smile when they are low. Yesterday they told you you would not go far. That night you opened and there you are. Next day on your dressing room they hung the star. Let's go on with the show. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, I am Colonel Buffalo Bill Cody, owner and founder of the Best Wild West Show. You are about to see my own personal version of the tempestuous and romantic story of Annie Oakley and Frank Butler, featuring my celebrated troupe of Western actors and my fabulous cowboy band. And all of it, exactly as I've presented it over the years, right here under my victim. And there's a 
my lawn! What? Scene one, the Wilson Arms Hotel in Cincinnati, Ohio. And step on it! Charlie, you gotta get this people moving when I say something. What the hell is going on out here? What are all you people doing cluttering up my lawn? And what in Sam Hill are those guns for? Are you expecting an armed uprising or something? Well, I'm Charlie Davenport, general manager of Buffalo Bills Wild West Show. We're here to arrange a shooting match. What shooting match are you talking about? Between Frank Butler and your best local shot. Look here, mister. This is my hotel. See that sign up there? It says Wilson. I'm Wilson. And this is also my lawn, and you ain't holding no damn shooting match on it. Well, this sure is your lucky day, Mr. Wilson, because we are also going to be booking ten of your best rooms. Are you out of your head? I just had Pawnee Bill and the Far East show staying here, and all they did was chase women up and down my front stairs. And on horseback. All our folks would never dream of doing anything like that, Mr. Wilson. They're too refined. They do it on your back stairs. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Wilson, what have you got to lose? Spoons, towels, soaps, bath mats, salt shakers. Whatever's not nailed down. For the last time, mister, get off of my lawn! Oh, Mr. Wilson! Mr. Wilson! Of all the deluxe hotels in Cincinnati, wouldn't you know we'd end up in something like this? Uh, would it be all right if I set these bags on this day? Oh, put them down by the house, Tommy. And be careful not to drop them. I've got all my beauty aids in there. No wonder they're so heavy. Why do you have to treat him like he's some kind of bellboy? Tom is a very important part of the show, and I happen to be his assistant, just like you and Frank Butler. I really don't mind, Winnie. Honest. You hear that? Even an Indian has more sense than you do. He's half Indian, sis. And that's the half I was talking to. <laughs> but why do you have to treat him like he's some kind of uncivilized heathen? I do not. Bring the bags up to my room, and then you can go around back and set them up in the teepee. <laughs> really, sis? It's all right, Winnie. I've got a few things to do anyways. Please just stop, sis. Winnie, when our mama was on her deathbed, she made me promise I'd protect you, my baby sister, and keep you from harm. And that's what I'm going to do, even if it kills you. <laughs> I don't need protecting. I'm not a child. Excuse me, will you, Dolly? I've got to prepare for the match. No, no. Well, Frank, I'll bet you haven't noticed where we are. Where's that? Cincinnati. Remember? Six years ago, we went walking along the shore. There's no shore in Cincinnati, Dolly. You must be thinking of Cleveland. Cincinnati? Cleveland? What's the difference? It was very romantic. There's nothing romantic about Cleveland, Dolly, especially where you and me are concerned. What? After trying to touch various parts of my anatomy, you proposed to me! Proposed? I admit I might have made a pass, but there's a hell of a big difference between a pass and a proposal. Not to a single woman of 37, there isn't. <laughs> Do it Dolly, whatever happened between us was then, not now. It's over and done with. A girl can still hope, can't she? Sure, still hope she's a girl. Charlie, just the man I wanted to see. I don't much like this place you picked out for the shooting match. Oh, well, that's good, because you ain't got it. Who says? Wilson, the proprietor. He won't rent us no rooms, neither. Well, I am not sleeping in a tent again like that time it's connected. Oh, there's nothing wrong with a tent, Dolly, as long as you keep your flat shut. <laughs> You're still here? Mr. Wilson, I'm Frank Butler, and I'm going to give you the chance to win $100. You don't say. That's right. You see in every town we play. Mr. Butler challenges the local champion to a shooting match. Who are you? Mr. Butler's lovely assistant. He shoots things out of my mouth. He don't shoot enough out of her mouth. <laughs> Here's the deal, Mr. Wilson. You get your local man, bring him right here, and I'll put up a hundred dollars I can have shoot him. What are you taking for? 
There ain't nobody in all of Hamilton County who's as good as you think you are. For the last time, mister, the answer's no. No, no, no! I'll get one of the girls to work on him. He looks like a bachelor. Maybe he's lonesome. I'll tackle him. He ain't that lonesome. <laughs> I'll go talk to him myself. He'll come around as soon as I finish telling him how famous I am. Trouble with him, he lacks confidence. <laughs> I'll thank you to give me that bird. Well, what bird? It's mine. Well, I shot it. You shot it right off my hat. Fur, ain't no good. I ain't got no meat on it. It's not an eating bird, you ignorant creature. It's a wearing bird. Well, all right. Around these parts, you have to keep sewing it on. Folks keep shooting it off. Look at what you've done. You ruined it. <laughs> Don't get your dimples in a fuss. Well, I gave you one of mine. Oh, get away from me with that filthy thing, you nasty ragamuffin. She ain't filthy. She looks better than you, and she's got a bullet through her head. Was that a shot I heard out here? Yes, it was. Look out for that girl. If that's what she is under all that crime, she's got a gun. Is it loaded? Sure is. Well, I can empty it right quick. <laughs> Wonder who really shot her. Buzzer Satan season. <laughs> Fellow down the road, he told me I might do some business here. Business? What have you got? Quail? No. Ducks? No. Grasses? No. Geese? No. Squirrels? No. Nah. Wild turkeys? No. Possums? No. Rabbits. No. No. I got all the game I need. Sure you do, but when folks eat the game you got, they spit out buckshot all over your floor. Their teeth chew, probably. But mine's different. Come on now, now, now I'll chase you. Shake your tail if your man's waiting. My kid sisters and little brothers ain't used to people yet. They never been out of dark candy before. Look a little dusty, don't they? We're in business together. I pop them, she plucks them, and she pulls them. What does the boy do? Well, Jake, why are you my bird dog? Got a great nose on him, so now he's gonna catch the cold. Little Jake, stop your snuffling and use your sleeve like everybody else. <laughs> Jesse, show this gent one of them birds. Look it over, mister. No buckshot in that bird. Just one clean little hole through his head. Mighty pretty shooting. For every one I give you, you gotta give me two nickels and a dime. Can't hurt to try. I'll take two dozen. Well, how many is that? Twenty-four. Who do you know that can count up to 24? I can count up to 20. Well, I can only give you 20. <laughs> All right, just leave me a bill with the birds. Bill? Well, I bet y'all got bills, mister. <laughs> no, no, the bill, the invoice. You know how to read and write, don't you? Well, we don't read as good as everybody. We don't read as good as anybody. Folks are dumb where I come from, they ain't got any learning. Still their heavy is conveyed. Doing what comes naturally. Doing what comes naturally. Folks like us don't need to bust with schools and books and learning. Still we get from A to Z. Doing what comes naturally. Doing what comes naturally. You don't have to know how to read or write when you're out with a fella in the pale blue light. In a book to find what he thinks of the moon and what is on his mind. They have come naturally. They have come naturally. My uncle Ed in Texas can't even write his name. He signs his checks with X's, but they catch them just the same. If you saw my mom and pa, you know they had no learning. Still, they raised a family doing what comes naturally. Grandpa Bill lived on the hill with 
shoot against no girl. Well, he ain't got no choice. He challenged anybody. And I'm anybody, all right. Besides, well, I don't shoot like a girl. <laughs> yeah, what is it you shoot like? A champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty stuck on yourself, ain't you? That bad I am. As soon as I put old Betsy here down and try to shine up to folks. Ooh, I'm as gunky as a scrub oak. Why not? I don't know. I say worse than you. That's the nicest thing I ever hear. <laughs> hey, would you mind to wait around a little while and bring me luck? <laughs> the way you're telling is that big, swollen headed stiff that's gonna need all the luck. As long as you stay to see it. Because when I'm standing out there with all them folks looking at me, well, I'll be looking for you. <laughs> Don't worry, darling. You'll find me. See you later. Hey, mister! Where are you going? Don't you like me? Sure, I like you fine. 
I just have to go now, that's all. Well, I guess I ain't exactly your tap. Look, honey, let's So what not... exactly is your tap? Well, if you must know, I like the girl who's, <laughs> well, who's kind of dainty. You know, the sort that faints when she sees a mouse. Man, I suppose I'm the sort who sees the mouse and the mouse faints. <laughs> I didn't say that. Look, you don't mind if we drop the subject, do you? No. So she's got to be dainty. What else? You really want to hear this? Well, I sure do. The girl that I marry will have to be as soft and as pink as a
pleasure to return to my favorite state in the Union, the great state of, uh, of, uh, Ohio. Ohio. I'm here today to referee a contest of fancy shooting between Frank Butler, the world's greatest sharpshooter, and the best marksman your county has to offer. Is Mr. Butler's opponent present? Is your shooter here? Sure is. Annie! Annie? 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 Will somebody call him, mate? This is Annie Oakley. My choice is to compete with Frank Butler. <laughs> What's that gold darn funny about that? What are you trying to do, get slapped out of town? No, sir, we are not going through with this. You ain't got no choice. Didn't you say anybody I could dig up? Yeah, but I'm gonna come up on the shovel. What are we gonna do, baby? <laughs> Nothing. The little lady accepted our challenge. Are you really Buffalo Bill? <laughs> Nobody else. Well, Annie Oakley. <laughs> Why, I'm delighted, Miss Oakley. You are? Ladies and gentlemen, meet Mr. Butler's charming assistant, Miss Dolly Kay. Yeah, well, you're my three charming assistants, Jesse, Nellie, and Little Jake. 